And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Porto taking on Chelsea. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek, to be here. Very, very lucky indeed to be broadcasting to millions and millions of people, let alone watching this fantastic game. I'm sure the players are a little bit nervous as well with that audience looming in the background, tuning in on their televisions. It's going to be a great night. I'm very excited to be here. Hopefully, we get the game that this tournament deserves. final of the UEFA Champions League it's where everyone wants to be only two sides can accomplish that feat and Lee it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight well it is it's the big part here. it will be after the game but as players it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away and that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room but also the coach look around your team see the calm ones have a word with them get them to pass the message on stick to the game plan go out and win the game Champions League final commences. Well, as far as the hosts are concerned, we know they like to press high when they can and try to win possession back swiftly. Lee, do you think it'll be that approach today? Yes, Derek, I do. It's a brave way of playing. It's a physical way of playing as well. Brave because you're committing a lot of men high up the pitch. Physical because all the players have to buy into it. Mount. Here's Kovacic. And a look at the Chelsea starting eleven. Kurt Zuma plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence and leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. Well, the timing was perfect, ball one. Ziyech. Jorginho. Just the clearance that was needed. to take it away chances on really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box a sloppy pass it looks promising he's protecting it effectively a super tackle and they've won possession Disappointing pass. And played the pass well. Now can they make something happen? The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Again here, Derek, starting it more central and bending it out makes it really hard for the keeper. 
He thinks he might have this, but no chance. Look at the bend on this. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. And Kovacic seeing his pass intercepted. And Uribe, and they are on the move again. Will he play it in? And a no-nonsense clearance. Well, the counter chance looks very real. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Giroud. And he's made headway. Oh, can you believe this? Just when it looked as though the door was locked, it's been reopened. Well, they're back in it, and you can hear the relief with their fans. Game on. Well, here's the goal again, and he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket picked, and rightly punished, schoolboy still. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, it's not easy being a manager, and that's why they've let him down a bit there. So, a level contest. 1-1. Uribe. Martinez, just the challenge that was required. And a chance for him on the flank. What can he do from here? Kovacic, in position to give them the lead, maybe. And with that, they take the lead. Well, just look at the celebrations, Derek. The fans are starting to believe it's theirs. Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position and he wasn't disappointed. Let's have another view of that goal. So, underway once again, Chelsea with the lead in this match. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Well, Chelsea have struggled with possession of it, but they won't mind with that, they're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them, and with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Giroud. Dangerous ball. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Mateo Kovacic. Kovacic seducing with his passing. Not to be this time. Corona. Marega. 
The ball with Otavio. Mateo Suribe. On the pass, a good one. Oh, lovely ball. The header, but far too straight to worry the keeper. Yeah, meat and drink for a goalkeeper of that class. Jihou. And unable to keep possession. Ziyech. Beautifully weighted ball. And delivered towards the back post. It comes to absolutely nothing. It is now with Jorginho. And he takes it away. Grujic. The ball with Otavio. Tony Martinez. Marega. Oh, they've lost it. Jesus Corona. A very effective challenge put in. A possession lost, intercepted. And the attacking options appear plentiful. The referee correctly to surely the equaliser. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, looking at this again, he's onside, thanks to a lovely through ball. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. And they're making a change. And space to cross it. Chilwell. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Tremendous challenge. An important interception. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Given away by Chelsea. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. And the substitution will occur now. He has time to play it over. Giroud. Chilwell. Kovacic, Jorginho, oh crucial tackle, brilliant, it might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack you know, will they profit from this situation, can they make the connection here, the end product just wasn't there, can he put them in front, and putting his body on the line, and it's gone in, a late goal to put them ahead in the Champions League final, Well, Derek, as we see it again, it's a big mistake. You try to teach youngsters not to get caught in possession and be aware of what's around you. He has no clue, and he pays the price.
Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. Having conceded then, it's up to Chelsea to articulate a response. And if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Kurt Zuma. Full time and the issue has been settled. One team crestfallen, the other jubilantly. Well, there's winners and there's always losers. Fine margins between the two.